late January is supposed to feel like, but I don't think it's supposed to feel like this, Michelle. No, it's been very mild. In yeah. fact, right now we have the eighth warmest January wow. on record at TF Green Airport with just a few days left in the month. We will cool a little bit over the coming days, okay. but we're not talking frigid. All right. Let's take a look at the conditions outside right now. It's dry on our roadways. If you're traveling over the Newport Bridge, it's starting off with mainly cloudy skies. We'll hold on to some extra cloudiness today. Mid 30s in New Bedford, 38 in Newport. Providence at 37, Smithfield 35, Boston coming in around 40 degrees, and we're in the low to mid 30s from Worcester to Springfield. So leading our three key things, a little bit of extra cloudiness today. It's an, a result of a cold front pushing through. We're going to be cooler midweek behind that front temperatures in the 30s, and then still that weekend storm on the table here as a possibility. I'll show you the options looking at our wind direction, wind speeds right now. Not as much of a factor today. They're out of the north and west, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Behind this cold front, they'll turn more towards the north. That front has some extra clouds with it. It also has the chance for some ocean effect snow showers to develop as that colder air starts to drain in over the Cape. We're not expecting them anywhere else other than the outer Cape and Nantucket in our forecast hour by hour shows that this is at nine o'clock this morning. Middle 30s across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. You Notice know, partly to mostly cloudy sky at two in the afternoon. Lower 40s Providence, New Bedford, Newport, low 40s Smithfield by six in the evening down to about 35 and I do expect us to fall into the 20 overnight tonight by 11 o'clock. We're down close to freezing. Still the chance for some of those ocean effect snow showers to be ongoing into the night over the outer Cape. We could get a coating to an inch of snow there. Rest of us still going to see bare ground 8 a.m. and 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, upper 20s to around 30 degrees. So some of that energy for our weekend storm just starting to come on shore in the Pacific Northwest that eventually will dip down into the uh, southern U.S. and then try to uh, strengthen into a potential coastal storm off of the Carolina coastline by the end of the week. So the weekend ends that position of that low, maybe off the south or north Carolina coastline. Where it goes from there will depend or will determine what we see. So if it ends up tracking close to us, that would bring some snow and possibly some rain. If it ends up tracking further away, obviously little if any impact and our computer models you can go back and forth between how close that comes, how strong it is as it passes by us, whether it really does its strengthening a little bit too late to bring us some significant weather or if it turns into a sizable storm. So it is something that we're just going to be keeping an eye on in the coming days. I think once that energy that I showed you that's still out in the northern uh, Pacific, northeastern Pacific, once it comes on shore in the United States, we'll start to get better data in about where it's going to be, what it's looking like. So seven day four Forecast 42 degrees for the high today. That drops down to the upper 30s with sunshine for tomorrow. Going to be just a seasonable late January day. Cold start Thursday and Friday mornings, but by Friday afternoon, temperatures already back into the lower 40s. Friday's likely pick of the week. Nice looking day for us. And on Saturday, starting off dry right now. I could see that snow or rain develop and continuing into Saturday night. It looks like it'll taper off early on Sunday. So potential some some impacts to both days with the highest impact right now late Saturday or Saturday night. We'll keep you updated. New data will be coming in throughout the day. You'll want to stay up.